Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Allie. Let's first start off by addressing the elephant in the room. I woke up with really, really beautiful natural curls this morning and then I decided to enhance them with a curling iron and now I'm Curly Sue and I just, I feel like my hair has a life of its own at this point. We're just gonna roll with it. Today I am filming another episode in my testing snacks series. Today is going to be a teacher tests popular back to school snacks and I am so excited about it. I have one, two, three, four bags chock full of snacks and we're pretty much just going to get right on into it if you guys like this video and you are new here i will link my testing snacks series in the description below where i test all sorts of snacks i am a teacher so i do a lot of teacher test her students favorite snacks videos but i also do youtuber test her subscriber favorite snacks video disney fanatic test disney official recipes a ton of them in there so if you guys are interested check out the description for the playlist below before we do get started however i do want to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video let's run the b-roll okay guys i just need a moment to fangirl really quickly my teacher heart is so happy drum roll please today's video is sponsored by crayola crayola school mask packs if you would have told me five years ago that crayola would be reaching out for a collaboration I would have laughed in your face and here we are I am so proud of myself and just so appreciative for this opportunity Crayola guys what if you are unfamiliar with Crayola school mask packs I'm going to link all the information in the description below highly recommend you check them out So as masks become the new normal, they're honestly the most trendy accessory to purchase at the current moment. I know a lot of parents are having a hard time finding masks that their kids will wear. Well, that is where school mask packs come in. They have super bold, beautifully created, high quality masks for your littles. And they also have some for teachers and adults as well. Each school mask pack comes with five comfortable cloth masks, so your child can have a fresh mask with a new, fun design every single school day. All masks are built with a 3D design, a form-fitting nose wire, and adjustable ear straps. Crayola school mask packs are machine washable and come with a handy mesh laundry bag to stay organized, as well as a calendar to track your daily usage. As an added bonus, Crayola School Mask Packs is going to donate a portion of your purchase to a charity that supports kids who have been impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. Crayola School Mask Packs also have straps that you can buy so your child does not have to worry about losing their mask or dropping it on a dirty surface. So whether you are heading back into your classroom this fall or participating in virtual learning, whether you are a teacher, a student, or anything in between, whether you are just taking a ride to the grocery store with your family or going for a nice afternoon stroll, if you are looking for some high quality, beautifully crafted, extremely breathable masks, do what I did and get the Crayola School Mask Pack today at schoolmaskpack.com slash alleycakes. That's schoolmaskpack.com slash alleycakes. Hands down, some of the best masks I've tried. Let's do this. It's snack time. Somebody actually commented on one of my previous testing snacks videos and they were like, let's just be real. This is just an excuse for her to eat a bunch of junk food and called out, but also not incorrect. So yeah, with that being said, let's jump into the first snack of the video, which I'm pretty sure you guys already know what I'm going to be testing out for the first snack of the video. It's kind of like a trend in this video. The most popular school-age snack there ever was for years upon years upon years. Do you know what I'm going to be testing out? I'm pretty sure if you guys watch the series, you already know I'm going to be testing out of the Takis, but not just any Takis. I found not one, but two limited edition 
Takis. This flavor is Volcano Queso, and this one is Scorpion Barbecue. Now, not only are these limited edition, but they also are supposed to change the color of your tongue. Why not? This is a color changing effect. So I think I will start with the Scorpion Barbecue because this is the one that I found first. I found both of these at Target. My local Target had them, and I think there are only two limited edition flavors because on the back of this one is the queso flavor. <sighs> Smells like barbecue. Scorpion barbecue, so I'm assuming there's going to be some spice because Takis are known for being like super spicy. But this is what the Taki looks like. I've grown to love Takis. I'm gonna like lick it quickly and see if it changes color. It doesn't change color, but my tongue changed color. Oh, it did change color. Oh my God, I can't even imagine the amount of artificial goodness that is inside of this Taki. But I did just test it out and it is a spicy a barbecue. Let's actually test it out with the chip. Mm -hmm. I love barbecue. This is like very subtle though. Oh my God, I'm nervous for my tongue right now. Let me swallow first. These actually aren't even my favorite. Like I love barbecue, but when you have a Taki, I think you're just expecting that like super, super over the top spicy chip. This has like a little bit of a spice or a heat factor and a little bit of a barbecue. It tastes more just like a tortilla chip to me. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I should have done these last week. So I'm gonna have a blue tongue for the rest of this video and this is supposed to change your color of your tongue to green okay i think these i'm going to love because i'm obsessed with all things queso oh yeah these smell super super queso -y. is that a word it is now this is what the chip looks like mmm mm-hmm get these not these my personal opinion probably unpopular opinion these are really good it's a spicy queso and it's actually super spicy you get the kick like immediately after swallowing i'm like nervous for my tongue oh my lord oh my god it's probably so unattractive i apologize these i really like i actually think i like these more than the regular takis don't at me in the comments i know that they have like a following but these were really good these were like eh for me these this is where it's at right here two snacks down about 200 more to go i went hard in this video i'm just gonna pull out at random now the next snack that kind of like caught my eye that i thought would be like a super popular back to school snack are these little debbie unicorn cakes this is sparkling strawberry cakes this reminds me of they have another one that's like all year round for little debbie i can't remember what it's called but it's just like a vanilla cake vanilla frosting and then vanilla icing and it has like black icing on top it's not a zebra cake because those are more of like a pentagon shape or like a hexagon shape but you know they kind of pretty much all taste almost identical look at this this is something that I think would appeal to all school age children, especially elementary school. I feel like I'm not going to like this one because it's just going to be overly sweet. It looks like a snack that is just like sugar on sugar on sugar. And I'm not knocking Little Debbie because I love me some Little Debbie, but this specific one, I believe is going to be very, very sweet. And I'm right, it's super sweet. Oh man, I don't know if that looks exactly like a unicorn. I guess it does. We have the pink cake, the purple frosting, the white icing, and then the blue drizzle. So I get what they're doing here. Oh, if you look at the frosting, it kind of looks like it has like a funfetti look to it. I mean, kids would love this. It's just a little too sweet for me. What do I test out next? I think I'm going to test this out next. It is the Yo Crunch yogurt with candy. Now, students typically love yogurt, but you throw candy on top of your yogurt and it's like a match made in heaven. I got the one with the M&Ms. 
we don't particularly allow candy that often in school i mean we don't have a rule that says you can't bring it in but we do like frown upon it if it's brought in every single day so i feel like students would definitely gravitate towards this snack because it is yogurt with candy on top of it and we can't really be like don't bring yogurt to school so we're gonna test this out right now i used to love these as a child i have not had these in so many 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 years i just remember putting these on top of the yogurt and then mixing it around and you get like a rainbow effect because like all the dye from the m ms is seeping into the yogurt and then by the end of it you're just eating like this purplish brownish grayish color yogurt it's not super aesthetically pleasing but it tasted really good so let's see if it still tastes as good i'm gonna give it a little mix around Oh yeah, the colors are already blending, as you guys can see right here. Can you see that the colors are like already blending together? <laughs> yeah. Also reminds me of a McFlurry that used to happen all the time when I used to order M&M McFlurries. Here we go. Cheers. Let's give it a second taste, just to make sure. I don't like that yogurt, but I like those M&Ms. Mmm, M&Ms are so good. This reminds me of a watered down McFlurry. Now that I just mentioned McFlurry, it's all that is in my mind right now. And this really just reminds me of a watered down McFlurry. I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I think I like more of like a Greek yogurt that is thicker. This is a very, very, very thin yogurt with, with that, but. <laughs> With that being said, I don't think kids like Greek yogurt as much as thin yogurt. So well played, Yo Crunch. I think it would be a win for school aged kids. Usually when I am buying snacks for this video, I will refer to previous testing snacks videos in the comments and I will also pull you guys on Instagram from time to time for you guys to recommend snacks that you think that I should try. In a bunch of my testing students' favorite snacks videos, a lot of people suggested Cheez-Its and then a lot of people suggested Chex Mix and I found a little mashup. It is the Cheez-Its Snack Mix. Now it is not necessarily a Chex Mix, but if you look on the back, or if you look on the side, it reminds me of all the things that you would get inside of like a Chex Mix. So I figured we would test this out and kind of like, I don't want to say kill two birds with one stone because that is not politically correct. But you know, we're going to test out both of them at the exact same time. Smells super cheesy. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite part of Chex Mix is or any of like these Chex snack mixes. Mine are always the little mini bagel bites and this one is power dusted with cheddar cheese. I'm gonna try this one first. Mmm! Mmm. I love bagel chips so much. I also love Cheez-Its and I also love Cheetos and I also love all things cheese. Also very good. All right, so I'm gonna take one of each of the pieces and then test it out from there. So I have a pretzel piece, I have a Cheez-It, I have a bagel bite, and then I need a Cheeto. So I have all four of the pieces right here. You probably can't see them, but I'm just gonna throw all of them in my mouth, chew down, and see what it tastes like all together. Mmm. Mmm. You would think that that wouldn't really go well together because it's like so many different flavor profiles. I mean, the flavor itself is just like very cheesy, but it's a lot of different textures and weirdly all the textures do really go well together. I don't know about you, I never eat them all together. I usually would just like pick out the pieces that I want to eat. So if I want the bagel ones, I'll eat all the bagel ones. If I want the Cheetos, I'll eat all the Cheetos, pretzels, pretzels, Cheez-Its. You guys get where I'm going with that. Let me know if you guys eat these as just like grabbing a handful of them and shoving them in your mouth or if you kind of like separate them and pick the ones out that you like. I definitely separate them and pick out the ones that I like, like the delicious little bagel chips. Guys, I found a snack at 7-Eleven that is making my first grade, second grade, third grade Allison Hart fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade Allison Hart, maybe even seventh and eighth grade Allison Hart want to just like ex 
explode with happiness i'm going to save it for last but try to think in your head what it might be i mentioned this a bunch of times on this channel what my absolute favorite child age snack was for me growing up they did bring it back and i'm really hesitant slash extremely excited to test it out and see if it lives up to the hype of what it used to be so i'm going to save that one for last but i just had to throw that out there the next snack that i'm going to be testing out it's weird because i never eat these i remember eating these as a child and hating them but this is probably one of the most popular snacks for students to bring in when i'm asking them to bring in items for like a christmas party or an easter party or whatever kind of party we are having in our classroom these frosted sugar cookies now this is really popular at my school and it's also very very popular at any party that i go to not just like school related but anytime i go to like cookouts or anytime i go to kids birthday parties they always have some sort of variation of this frosted sugar cookie i do live in rhode island which is in new england so let me know if that is a new england thing or if you guys have these like extremely sugary frosted cookies as well where you live so this is what it looks like I just remember them not tasting the best as a child, but I haven't had one in ages upon ages. They're really, really pretty. They just seem very like, I don't know. Let's just try it out. Here we go. Hmm. I don't know part of me hates it still then the other part of me likes it no part of me loves it i'm just a little indifferent at the current moment i like the frosting or the icing a lot more than i like the cookie the cookie is just like way too powdery for me and way too crumbly like if you can see over here i can like literally let me see if i can get a close-up of that do you see right here it's just like ripping off i don't know Kids love it though. It's just not for me. It's a no for me. This is the perfect time in the video to cleanse our palette. Today's palette cleanser is going to be the Arizona watermelon flavored cowboy cocktail. Now I do have to give credit where credit is due and I have to give credit to my fifth grade boys and girls for completely influencing me to buy today's drink. I have had Arizona drinks in the past. I'm personally more of an Arizona tea type gal, but a ton of my students, I would say nine out of 10 of my students will always bring in the watermelon flavor. So we're gonna give it a little testeroo right now, made with real juice, and it is 100% natural. Bottoms up, guys, here we go. This is probably one of the best ones I've ever had. Thank you, boys and girls. This is so good. This beats the socks off of all the ones that I've had in the past. I like the Arnold Palmer one, and that one's like a close tie with this one. But besides the Arnold Palmer one, this one gets my vote. This is so good. Highly, highly suggest you guys try this. Let's take a look at the sugar right now. 21 grams of sugar two servings per container so if you have this whole entire container you're talking 42 grams of sugar but i mean like cheat day this next snack angers me i'm being so over dramatic right now it's literally a cookie but it angers me because companies will make these limited edition snacks and want all the people to buy them or they will promote them so that everybody gets super intrigued by them and then consumers like myself will go to every single store in their state again being very over dramatic i probably went to five stores to look for said snack and they are nowhere to be found i'm talking about the oreo most stuff i'll put a picture of it right here is this even a real thing or is this just like a hoax that somebody like made a picture of and it's not even a real thing i'm starting to think it is not even a real thing because i have looked online i have checked grocery stores i have done research and i cannot find this dang cookie anywhere so i'm kind of being resourceful and i'm doing like a makeshift most stuffed oreo i found the mega stuffed oreos and i figured if i take two of them 
cut the tops off and squish them together, we will have like our almost stuffed cookie. I don't know. We're gonna test it out. I mean, clearly, I've had Oreos before. I have them in like every single one of these videos, but I've never had the most stuffed ones. So I'm gonna show it to you right here. According to the pictures, the cream to cookie ratio is on point. So I'm going to open this up, open this up, put both of them together. I did something very similar to this in a previous video. So I still don't even think that this is enough. I think I need to take the cream from one other cookie to make it look like the pictures that I found online. So I'm gonna put cream over here and another top and this definitely looks a lot more like it. Look at that. Here comes Jax to eat all the food. <laughs> Crisis averted, Jax is waiting patiently outside the door. We're just gonna do a very big mouth bite right now. I'm nervous and so excited at the exact same time. Here we go. Mmm. If you don't eat an Oreo like this, you are not eating Oreos correctly. Whoa. <laughs> so good. You don't need to find the most stuffed Oreo cookie packages that are apparently not available anywhere. You can just make them with the mega stuffed cookies. Again, I took two cookies and I took the icing from one of the other cookies and stuck it right in the center. So we have like I think each of the mega stuffed is a little bit more than the double stuffed. I don't even know how many layers of cream I have right here, but here is a picture for a reference. Oh my goodness, this is probably the best Oreo I've ever had in my entire life. I think I'm gonna get some like ice cream and just dip this in ice cream and make my own little cookies and cream ice cream sandwich situation. I think we are down to our last two snacks of this video. I do need to check the bags again, but I'm pretty sure we're down to the final two. So let's jump on into this one. The second to last snack that I'm going to be testing out in this video is Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids heads two flavors in one. I have had Sour Patch Kids all the times so before. Sour Patch Kids are actually my favorite candy. I don't consider chocolate to be candy. I put chocolate in its own separate category. So I have my favorite chocolate and then I have my favorite candy and my favorite candy is Sour Patch Kids. So yes, I have tested Sour Patch Kids before but I have never tested out the big kids two times bigger, two flavors in one Sour Patch Kids heads. So this is what it looks like. These are going to be like Mondo Sour Patch Kids. Let's just open on up and pick one out at random. The first one I'm picking out is orange and green. These are seriously so big. First they're sour, then they're sweet. Let's check it out. I can't confirm yet. I'm gonna chew on it for like another five seconds. So sticky. Okay, I can confirm now. I just swallowed it. Favorite snack that I tested in this video thus far. So good. Literally, not even a home run. It is a grand slam way to freaking go Sour Patch Kids. My favorite Sour Patch flavor. It's definitely red and then I like yellow second. I think it's like strawberry and then lemon. So this might be like a strawberry lemonade. I'm gonna do one more. Just got five more cavities. It's so worth it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just need a moment, guys. <laughs> I just, I, I need a moment. I just, I found these. At 7-Eleven, I knew they had come back, but I just happened to go into the 7-Eleven and they were there. And I was like, what? <laughs> what is happening right now? Guys, did you guess? <laughs> Dunkaroos, Dunka freaking Roos. Dunkaroos, like Dunkaroos. They brought Dunkaroos back. Guys, please. Please understand my excitement about this, especially if you are again a 90s kid. You have to be sharing my excitement right now 
for the Dunkaroos comeback. I don't even want to talk about the ingredients right now. There are so <laughs> many <laughs> ingredients in this, like yellow six, red 40, yellow five, lake blue, lake one, like so many ingredients. But I used to eat these religiously growing up and I turned out fine debatable but i turned out fine i'm so excited right now the kind that i found at 7-eleven is the vanilla cookie and vanilla frosting with rainbow sprinkles which to be honest was not my personal favorite it wasn't my preference i liked the chocolate frosting one but we're gonna roll with whatever we can find beggars are not gonna be choosers because let me tell you dunkaroos dunkaroos like i know exactly what these tasted like as a child are they going to taste that good now in my 30s? We will find out. This is what it looks like. I have tried so many Pinterest recipes to recreate the Dunkaroos and now I don't have to do that anymore. Also, all of the cookies are one little shape now. It's just the circle with the D. As a child, they used to have like the little kangaroo and all the other little shapes. And I used to always like dip this into frosting and put another cookie on top and make like a little cookie sandwich. That was my life guys growing up and it was pretty great so this is what it looks like before we dive right on in <sighs> please be as good please be as good please be as good i'm gonna cry i'm not being dramatic right now again it's totally not a dunkaroo i want to scream right Oh my god, got caught in my throat. That's not a Dunkaroo. That's like a Pinterest recipe Dunkaroo. That's not the Dunkaroo frosting. That's not the Dunkaroo cookie. I'm disappointed. It doesn't taste bad. It tastes really good. It's like super sweet. Kids would definitely love this, but... This is totally not the Dunkery that I remember. Hmm. Man. The Dunkery that I remember had more of like a graham cookie consistency and texture and taste. And the frosting was like a little bit thicker. I mean, I'm eating the entire container right now, so clearly it's not terrible. And it's not. It's really good. It's just not the Dunkery that I remember. Dang it. I had such high expectations for this <laughs> I told you guys I knew I had another snack to test out I just couldn't figure it out I found this off to the side the Lunchables uploaded this is the ultimate deep dish pizza with pepperoni made with pork and chicken I'm so happy I found this because I was really nervous I was going to be ending this video on a disappointment truly the Dunkaroos were a disappointment to me but hopefully I can end it with a bang now I did test this in one of my first teacher test video not the uploaded one just the regular Lunchables one at the time however i was a vegetarian so i didn't test out like the pepperoni which i think is what really makes the pizza so this time we're going to be testing it out in all of its glory inside of these uploaded packs we get the pizza crust which is truly a deep dish pizza we get our pepperoni and we get our cheese we get cheese it we get sauce and we get a fruit roll-up but there's more we get a little water bottle and we get a kool-aid slammer or kool-aid singles so that's a lot in here i think that this was like four dollars at my local grocery store not too shabby i'm so pumped about this right now like honestly so pumped look at that deep dish pizza okay i'm going to put this here open up my sauce lunchables were the shiz growing up the shiz Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> no chance I'm not getting this all over my outfit right now when I bite into it. There's absolutely no chance at all. They give you a lot of pepperoni as well. When I went vegetarian, I used to tell my husband all the time, the one thing I missed more than anything was fried chicken and pepperoni. I miss pepperoni so, so much. I don't know why. I just love pepperoni so much. Okay, I have my cheese. And last but not least, we're going to put on all the pepperoni. Like if we're going to do it, we're going to do it right. So one, two, three, four, five, six slices of pepperoni. 
Yes! <laughs> Let's do this. Cheers. Mm-hmm. 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 You know what's funny about this? This is better than cafeteria pizza. So my cafeteria sells pizza every single Friday or they serve pizza every single Friday. And this is honestly like 10 times better than the cafeteria food pizza, which is not saying a lot at all, but this is so good. I'm so happy that I found this because now we are ending this video on a high note. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, please let me know what your favorite snacks are in the comments below, and maybe I'll feature them in a future upcoming video. I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for all your love and support here on my channel. It means the absolute world to me. I hope that you're having a beautiful day, and I look forward to talking to you all soon. Bye, guys.